hello, hello to all of my Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Hopefully you all had a great weekend. I know you did because you're setting those intentions. And hopefully you woke up today and set your intentions wherever you are. Set those intentions for whatever day you want and don't make room for anything else. Let's get into it. We are slowly approaching the full moon in Capricorn. And just so you know, Capricorns, I'm talking to you, sea goats. Just so you know, uh, Capricorns, the full moon in Capricorn really illuminates areas that hold us back from shining our light to the fullest and most joyful way. So, and it, it also challenges you to fully commit to change. Fully, fully, fully commit to change. So, are there any energy leaks in your life? And so, if there are any energy leaks, then we're going to talk about those and then also some energy hacks, right? So, yeah. So, all right. All right. Mm, okay. Ooh, boy, oh boy. All right, we have the Tower card, the Star card, the Sun card, the World card, and the Chariot card. All right. Uh, okay, That's these all your major arcana. This is major. This is a big, big, big deal, right? Big deal. Okay, we have the Tower card. I'm talking to you. You have the Capricorn anywhere in your chart, even if you're on the cusp of Sagittarius and Aquarius. I'm talking to you. You, 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 and you. So if you have a Capricorn anywhere in your chart, I am talking to you. Only take what resonates with you. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates. I got to say that over and over and over again because sometimes it totally resonates with people like, oh, my God, that's exactly my story. And so just take what resonates with you. And if you want to go look at some of the other signs in your birth chart, please go do that because that could answer questions about love, if you were worried about love or concerned about that or work situations or whatever. So... Um, looking at your cards here, somebody you were married to. Uh, so first of all, a cycle has closed for you. So congratulations for that. A cycle has closed. Somebody is moving on from something, something that they may have felt like was a person who was their soulmate, right? You've moved on from that. Soulmate doesn't always mean a romantic interest. So we're clear. <clears throat> soulmate can also mean a friendship, family member. But somebody has closed a cycle. That takes a lot of strength to close out a cycle successfully, right? That energy is really going through the, the karma, the energy they put out in the universe, right? What I'm seeing is a transference of wealth, right? Wealth is not just in money. It's also in happiness and health and peace, all those things. That's what they're going through because they never thought that even though you are a cardinal sign and a cardinal signs are initiators, they never thought that you would initiate really closing this out. So for some people, it's going to take time for their mind to catch up with the reality that they have lost you for good. And it's going to hit them like a ton of bricks that they have lost you forever. It's going to hit them like a ton of bricks that they have no more access to you whatsoever, right? So I see you focusing on your healing. I see you balancing out your dualities. I see you completely closing out a cycle and feeling a thousand percent better. In other words, you're your own soulmate. You're like, I'm balancing, I'm watering. This is attached to water. I'm watering my own soil. I'm not looking for you. I'm getting my hormones in, in, uh, balanced out. Um, um, drinking more water. I'm doing swimming. I'm doing things that I'm, I'm taking my walks. I'm grounding. I'm meditating. I'm doing whatever I need to do to remove this stale energy from my spirit so that I can move on. What that looks like for a lot of people is you could be leaving a job. That could be a relationship, an agreement that you were married to. Maybe you feel like I'm going to be in this company for the rest of my life. It could mean that you close out a cycle with an ex, somebody that you were um, legally married to or common law married to romantically linked to some kind of agreement there you have closed out the cycle so kudos to you capricorn kudos 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 yes you have you have closed out a cycle it's like completing a project and saying okay god what next now what, what's next um okay i'm in this new cycle what am i supposed to do now that uh what am i supposed to do now so somebody is in a very vulnerable space somebody's in a very very vulnerable space right now and um I said, like i said you're healing from something and you're moving forward. In other words, some in the lightning bolt information is being downloaded into your spirit about things, everything around you, right? So make sure you don't have any energy leaks while you are making some changes, right? Where you're committing to changing some things, right? So loud noises could be energy leaks. 
staying up past a certain hour where you're barely getting any rest is an energy leak. Um, overdosing on caffeinated drinks, right? Too much TV time or being online, social media, too much movie time or whatever. This is where you want to rest your mind. Staying indoors most of the day, right? Get outside. See this, this card right here? Get outside and remove that stale energy from your spirit, right? You know, looking at social media past a certain hour, you know, when your spirit is supposed to be in rest state where you are, your ear gates and your eye gates are unprotected, right? You don't, you're not consciously aware that that energy is attaching itself to you, right? So some energy hacks could be some solo time, could mean um, at least eight hours of sleep, replacing those caffeinated drinks with matcha, you know, swimming, right? Reading instead of watching television or whatever, um... Just doing one thing at a time instead of trying to multitask. Just being present in that one thing at a time, right? Yes, 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 yes. So, yes, let's let's continue moving it forward, right? So, those are some things that you want to do since you're in this very vulnerable state. Some things around you have been exposed. Some things within you that just really kind of gets on your nerves, that just really frustrates you, um, is getting on your nerves. And so, anything that's causing any hostility in your spirit, I need you all to get as far away from that as possible. Something from maybe your past where you feel like somebody... Here we have the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Maybe some things from your past where you feel like people got over on you or manipulated you or they were gaslighting you to some degree. It doesn't matter who it is. It could have been from your family. It could have been from past working relationships. It could have been somebody you were married to or thinking about marrying. Whatever it is, you want to get as far away from that hostility as possible because it'll block this you receiving more money coming across your path. So stay focused. Get as far away from low vibrating energies and thoughts as possible. Thoughts within you. Even the, the even the resist the, um, to call them a snake because this was sent by source to wake you up, to bite you, to listen to your higher self, which is source. Remember, you are committed to change. That's what the full moon in Capricorn is about, getting booked and busy, but not just in a monetary way, but it's like going directly to source. Like, okay, source, what's my next opportunity? What's my next opportunity to live my absolute best life? Source wants everybody to enjoy this earth, right? But some people make it so hard because they keep going back to these hostile thoughts and things in the past. You just can't let it go. So let me help you with that. Along with the energy hacks that I just gave you. Making sure you're not leaking your energy where you are emotionally so drained. It's causing you to be short-tempered, overly serious, critical of everything, unforgiving of the past, suspicious of everybody because you're not emotionally nurtured right watered watering your own somebody's somebody's um somebody is somebody feels like because they put their whole heart into something they put their whole emotion into something that that's the thing that that could hold you back right so instead of being committed to staying fixated on that remember you're a cardinal sign so it can go either way you can either be fixated on it or you can be adaptable right which one is it are you going to fall backwards in this in this state where you are constantly thinking about who did what to you are you going to make a change and move forward i see you being in a posture of gratitude for those thoughts coming across your mind so the way that you heal like the way that you really heal from your past is to thank god for it I mean, really, just say, God, I'm grateful. This is a posture of gratitude. This could be me, myself, and I. This could be you and your ancestors. It can be you and your best friends, whomever it is. But you're looking up to source, actually within. You're looking up to your higher selves, right? On the outer, we're looking up to the sky. But really, you're looking up to your higher self within. And you're saying to source, thank you. Thank you for my past. Thank you that I encountered those snakes because I know where I'm going. I'm going to encounter other snakes, but I want to be able to see them before they get close enough to bite me, right? When you start thinking like that at a higher frequency, that's when you're going to be able to reach up and grab your money. That's when you're going to really be able to reach up and grab your money because you'll be able to see it. As long as you stay down on that low frequency, it's going to keep those hostile thoughts in your mind. It's going to keep the frustration there. It's going to keep you at that low frequency. And guess who loves misery? I mean, miserable people love company, right? Miserable energies love company. The devil said we got to recruit some more people to hell. 
We don't have enough people in hell. We got to recruit some more people. All right, demons, get to work. <laughs> get to work, demons. Get to work, right? But anyway, you don't have that to worry about. You are divinely protected. You are divinely protected, so you really have nothing to worry about. Three of Wands. Somebody really should be expecting expansion. Really, really expecting expansion. I know that your card in tarot is the devil card. A lot of you all, and that just means that people have really just contaminated you with fear. Probably from a young age, you don't be, don't do this, don't do that. You gotta. This is how you gotta do things, or else. Instead of encouraging your creativity, encouraging your creativity, maybe as a child could have been putting you in some kind of you know uh, class to learn how to play an instrument teaching you how to swim, you know, encouraging you to tap into your creativity, right? And so that's where, if, if that's where that was lacking, um, and it could have been confusing. Maybe you moved around a lot. Maybe you did this, but you got to stay with what kept you rooted and grounded. If music kept you rooted and grounded, no matter where you live, you can always pick up music wherever you are. It's a universal language. Um, if it is, no matter what happened years ago, you know, that really um, frustrated you, like I said, stay with that one constant that keeps you rooted and grounded. If you like to paint, if you like to write poetry, if you like to sing, something tapped into that creative side that's going to keep your water flowing with inside of you, right? Your polarity sign is cancer, right? This is your polarity sign, right? Things that make you feel good. So that's what you want to go with. You want to go with what makes you feel good, but not to an extent where you're not using any logic. You want to keep your earth, your soil watered. That's why your, your polarity sign, you want to keep your earth watered, right? So yeah, what makes you feel good? And in the meantime, stop letting people touch you, especially if you feel like there's areas in your life that you are if you are dry in. If your sex life is dry, don't go out here and accidentally get caught up with a sex demon. If you feel like, you know, um, your money, let's say the area of your money is dried up, be very careful about, you know, like I said, you're going to, you want to thank source for all of it, but you want to ask source first. What you know, help me water those dry areas in my life and ask source first, should I take this job? Should I leave the current job that I'm on? Should I apply for this um, higher level position? Should I start looking outside the company? Should I stay in this romantic relationship? Should I do this business deal with this person that's coming my way? You always want to go to source first. Source has you exactly where source wants you, in this place of vulnerability, trying to make some. But again, your, commit, your commitment to change. Here we have the star card, which is Aquarius, right? Your star card, which is Aquarius. So again, some of you all may have Aquarius in your chart. But nevertheless, I see you healing yourselves, drinking, watering your own soil. See right here? I see you healing those dry areas within yourself, watering your own soil. You're not looking for a sex demon to water your soil. You're not looking for um, evil money being attached to just doing anything to make money. You're not looking for any of that. You're learning how to water your own soil. So, um, and those are just two examples. Those are just two examples. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here moving forward. Emotions are running high. They certainly are. They could be running high with somebody that you're with because they're getting antsy. They don't know. Maybe they have some things in their lives that are just not working out well for them. Um, and, and they don't know how to, hey, go look at your, if, if you're in a relationship with somebody, hey, go watch some videos, go watch Queen Amun Ra's videos for your sign so, so that you can stay focused. She offers a lot of great tips, right? So just be very careful during the time of full moon because again, full moon in Capricorn, you're still, as of today, you're still balancing out. You're making some last minute arrange, adjustments to your life, making some cuts out of your life. And some of the cuts that you're making out of your life is you're resisting the, the urge to go back to your past about who manipulated you, who lied to you, you know, who kept secrets from, from you. You're resisting that. That's what you're using a sword to cut out of your life 
and you are watering you're doing more of what you love to do for yourself which may come across as selfish to some other people but it's what you need for self-care so go where you are appreciated not where you're just being tolerated and be grateful for it all that's what i'm seeing for you that's why you're going to see more money coming across your path your expectations have to be high this is a person who has learned from their past but moving forward they're very optimistic your expectations are high very 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 high so let's see what we have here well let's see what else we have here before we close out your reading capricorn i love this for you all so again com um, congratulations for completing a cycle moving forward to being booked and busy so i do see more money coming across your path but you got to stay focused you got to come out of that head that mindset that's that vulnerability somebody is nervous about closing completely closing a cycle and what does the other side of this look like that's what that's could cause you to vibrate low that could cause you to vibrate low so here we have look to the stars look to the stars this is about the um this is about these moon phases everything has a cycle right you want to be progressive you want to keep moving forward within each one of the phases within each one of the cycles this is the cycle of booked and busy really look at your life and decide what is leaking your energy do you have manipulative energies around you that's keeping you distracted that's keeping you frustrated because they need so much attention they just need so much light shining on them they just it's all about them you can't even focus on yourself you know you feel torn i am successful that's right i am successful the number eight, infinite amount of money coming your way, infinite amount of creativity and ideas coming your way, right? I'm pouring into you right now for those of you all who may be dry in the area of creativity. You have infinite amount of that coming your way. I'm seeing it right here. There's an abundance of water in your cards. So again, instead of saying, I don't trust these opportunities that are coming my way because I've dealt with some snakes in the past, start looking at it as like, okay, God sent those snakes across my path so that I can wake up to my higher self and start going to God first when the opportunities come my way. I'm going directly to God. I'm not talking to this friend or that friend. I'm not talking about, you know, did you work with this person and what was your experience? No, I'm going to God on this situation. I am successful, right? Which means your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight, representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. That is what we have, Capricorn. I am so happy for you all. I'm so proud of you all for completing a cycle of just getting as far away from those low vibrating energies of who manipulated you in the past and just staying positive and learning how to water your own emotions. Again, stay as far away from anything that is even triggering you from returning back to a past of just disappointment and heartbreak and frustration right because that would be blocking your money that is was you know would be blocking your money so expect more money more change more balance to come because that's what you're speaking into existence and you're creating space for that that's what i have for you and i will see you all on wednesday bye